Simply Southern is produced by the Alabama Farmers Federation and made possible with the support of Alabama Farmers Cooperative. What one thing can you say about your local quality co-op store? You can trust us. You get what you need for your farm, for your lawn and garden, and the safest products for your pets. We're locally owned and operated, and you can trust that we care about our community and the people in it. So if you're a raised bed gardener, a rose gardener, or if you farm hundreds of acres, the Quality Co-op Store has exactly what you need to get the job done. All this plus friendly, knowledgeable advice. Your Quality Co-op Store. There's one near you. What sustains us? Food? Family? Faith? Alabama farmers live those things every day. They conserve our resources, clothe our families, and fill our tables. They cultivate jobs for our communities and values for our future. Farmers grow it all right here in Alabama. Welcome to Simply Southern. I'm Mary Wilson. And I'm Kevin Worthington. Each year, hundreds of thousands of people go into the Alabama woods in hopes of coming out with a deer, turkey, or some other type of our state's abundant game. Today on Simply Southern, we'll talk about what should be the number one priority of hunters, safety. Visiting the lavender pig feels like stepping into a garden. The sights and smells are just lovely. Today, we'll go there to meet owner Lee Black and see her beautiful handmade bath and body products. And I'm Stacy Little. Today in the kitchen, we're taking a few breakfast favorites and making breakfast stromboli. Y'all stay tuned. Mike Graham knows a thing or two about creating hits. Back in the early 90s, he was drummer for Christian music band Halo, which reportedly racked up four number one songs. Nowadays, Mike has traded in his drumsticks for mixer blades as the baker behind the business Pies by Mike. So now, instead of the music charts, his big hits are coming out of ovens as people all across the country are trying and loving his pies. It's 9 a.m. For most people, that's too early to start baking. But for Mike Graham, baking pies just after sunrise is a daily routine. The former musician always enjoyed baking, but didn't expect it would one day be his career. Never in a million years thought. <laughs> it never crossed my mind, honestly. I could have hoped to be a career fisherman, maybe. I love to fish, but just hadn't learned how to make money at that. His business, Pies by Mike, started in 2014 and moved to its current location in March 2020. The menu offers 25 varieties of pie, plus three days a week, they serve breakfast. It's a pie shop, so we do Southern breakfast pies. Um, basically quiche with no vegetables, just, just all the good stuff. And we do bacon, ham, or sausage. We got our own blend of coffee too. Only place in the world you can get it is here right now. Since I've gotten used to his coffee, I can't drink it anywhere else. I really don't like it. I gotta have it here. It just doesn't seem to be Friday if we don't come to Pies by Mike and have our regular breakfast. I love it. The, the pies are fabulous. He can forevermore bake. When I walked in the door, I said, honey, I'm home, because you feel like you're at home. Um, you know, everybody talks to you, calls you by your first name. And it's just, it's just a good place. There's lots to savor about the breakfast at Pies by Mike. But let's get back to the treats that soothe a sweet tooth. The best sellers here are pecan and Toll House, a chocolate chip pie, of course. And Mike really does make every single pie at Pies by Mike. He sells directly to numerous restaurants in the area, but shoppers can also buy whole pies or slices at the Clanton business. It's best to call and order any of them because while we do sell so many of the and told us, I try to keep a good supply of those on hand. There are days that I miscalculate and will sell out. You can also place orders online for in-store pickup. And they offer some fun, cheeky merchandise. But those pies, like the sign says, they're incredulous, incredulous, wait, what does that sign say? It is incrediliciously good. And I have, it's not a word, I made it up. And I think to this day, probably less than 10% of the people can pronounce it properly. 
<laughs> they come up with all kinds of different things, but it's funny to hear him try. So. Let's be honest. Once you try one bite of his pie, you'll be stuffing your mouth too full to say anything more than just mmm, mmm. After years of pleasing people with his music, Pies by Mike is a fitting encore for Mike's career. I enjoy the baking and trying to come up with new recipes, and it's it's fun to figure those things out and and bring a product that people like. We talked a lot about the breakfast pies at Pies by Mike, and of course, they're sweet pies, but they serve another item of interest. It's called a polar pie. Mike says it's their take on a blizzard where they mix an entire piece of pie with vanilla ice cream in a 16 ounce cup. Now that's a decadent dessert. <laughs> it might be a little too sweet for breakfast, so if you want to try it, plan to visit Pies by Mike a little closer to lunchtime. You can view their hours on their website, piesbymike.com. For Lee Black, success smells sweet. Coming up on Simply Southern, we'll meet the entrepreneur behind Bath & Body retailer, The Lavender Pig. When things change in your life, there's a good chance your insurance needs will change too. Home renovations, marriage, and a new baby are just a few examples. Scheduling an annual insurance review with your Alpha agent can ensure that you have the appropriate coverage for any recent changes that may have popped up. It's a great way to take a closer look at your policy and understand what your current needs are. Call your local agent and schedule your annual insurance review today. These Alpha Insights are proudly presented by Alpha Insurance. Want in-depth and up-to-date information about agriculture and forestry in Alabama? Then tune in to the Alabama AgCast, a production of the Alabama Farmers Federation. New Alabama AgCast episodes drop every Wednesday. Listen to learn about a range of topics, from farm programs and trade to animal nutrition and pest management. Just search for Alabama AgCast on your favorite podcast provider or visit alphafarmers.org slash alabama dash Alabama is a state filled with riches, like the juiciest peaches, a summer tomato sandwich, or grandma's pecan pie. But perhaps our greatest treasures are the hands that grow. From generations past through the years to come, Alabama fruit and vegetable growers produce an abundance we all enjoy. Alabama produce, it just tastes better. No matter the herd you tend to, or the type of seeds you sow, Farm Bureau Bank understands the lifestyle and financial needs of our neighbors. We're here to help grow traditions, give back to agricultural communities, and offer financial convenience for your unique way of life. Whether it's personal or business, we are committed to serving you and your financial needs. Please give us a call and we'll get started today. A farmer has to live on faith. We do all we can do, but we can only control so much. Alabama is the second largest poultry growing state in the nation, so we're trying our best to grow all the corn we can for that. What we produce not only feeds and clothes all of the United States, but about half of what we make goes on to the world market. We've been able to improve yields, have some things that, that can help us produce a better crop. I'm proud of the product we make and proud that I can say I'm an Alabama farmer. Wear long pants, long sleeve shirts, and closed-toed shoes. Don't be ticked. Use repellents with 20% DEET on skin and 0.5% permethrin on gear and clothing. Don't be ticked. Avoid sitting on rotten logs or stumps. Don't be ticked. Protect yourself from serious tick-borne illnesses and seek timely treatment to prevent long-term problems. No hunters were angered in the making of this film. 